Hi everybody, it's MC from NotJustScrapbooks.com and I have gotten myself the uh, Crafter's Companion pen storage system um, and I can get those for you at 20% off prepaid uh, because I would have to order a certain amount to be able to ship out so we'll call it a pre-order but you can get 20% off as you can see, every single slot is filled if you get all 168 pens plus, you know, with the blender and everything else. And the biggest thing for me was to figure out an intuitive way to store the pens in the racks so that I wouldn't be searching all over the place for what I want. So, uh, let me first show you. I have it on this tray here, which is something I showed you recently to put beads in when you're working on a project. But I did put them in at the angle because I thought it would be easier to take the pens and put the pens back in really easily when I was coloring. Um, I have two sets of these now, and I know that sounds terrible and, you know, wasteful. But um, I am going to be teaching Spectrum Noir classes at my scrapbook store, and so I really wanted to make sure that I had a second set so that we can share the pens and I have extra nibs and I've started to collect the refills. Um, because I color from light, I do light, dark, medium, light when I'm coloring. I was already running out of a lot of my light colors. So most of the refills I bought for now are the ones, you know, like the FS1, FS2, the BT1, BT2, uh, I think PP1 which is the pinks. But let me show you uh, in closer detail how I decided to do this. Maybe that'll help somebody up there not having to decide. So, because I do a lot of coloring little figures, uh, stamp figures, I put all my FS up here and then my pure black and my blender. So I always know that my blender is right here, my pure black's right there. Often when you do faces, so, you know, these are kind of pink and flesh colored. So I decided to keep going with pinks and reds all over here. And um, then I realized that these look kind of orangey. So I have all my FS1s and they actually start, like this is where the two trays meet. And I actually start my FS one over. And believe me, I move these pens around a lot, a lot before I got all this set in the right place. So I have all my FS1s, my True Black and my Blender, and then I have all my CRs. And the next thing I have is all my DRs. And I had room left here, so I put in my OR, one, two, and three. Then I put all my BPs, and then I had room for my three FLs. And then I put all my PPs, and I ended up having room for my four CTs. And then I put all my PLs, and there's five of those, and I had room for the first six of my GBs. Now, if you notice, that left this here, and that's perfect spacing for my LY, L2, LY2, and LY3. And really what you end up getting is all kind of the orangey color, yellows and oranges, all in this little area here. So to get back to the GBs, I have my GB1 to 6 here, and there are 11 GBs. So what I did is I put my PLs to here, and then my LV1, LV2, LV3, and my HB1, HB2, and HB3 here. So basically I have all of kind of my pinks and purples right in this area right here. So, flesh, blender, black blender, all the CRs, all the DRs, the ORs and the LY1, the BPs, and I don't know if you want, if I can get this a little closer so you can maybe stop the videos if you want to mimic this. And sometimes it clicks twice and sometimes it doesn't. So let me just show you. Okay, so here we have... And bear in mind that this is always starting one over from the beginning of the tray. Okay, so FS's 
and I will, I think I'll take pictures and uh, post the pictures on my blog. All the CRs, and they go right across. All the ORs with the LY1. All the VPs followed by the FL1, FL2, FL3, and the LY2. All the PP1s to 6. And then the CT1, CT2, CT3, CT4, and then the LY3. If I lift this up a little bit. Maybe I can get this down just a little bit more. There we go. Sorry about that. And now you have your PLs to your GBs. So PL1 to 5 and then GB1 to 6. Now the reason it's like that is that I could put my PLs 1 to 5 and then I was able to put my LV1, LV2, LV3 followed by my HB1, HB2, HB3. So that puts, again, that puts my purples together. And if you notice here, I really have all the yellows, oranges in this area. And yes, some of these turn out a little bit brown and whatever, but from the looks of it, it's easier to find. Now if you go to the other side, my other side is a little bit of my neutrals. So if you start from the top, I have my IG1 to IG10. And again, we'll just go to here. My BG1 to my BG10. My GG1 to my GG5 followed by my BGR1 to my BGR5. I have my blues starting after that, my BT1s all the way to my BT9, my true blue 1, TB1, all the way to TB9, my IB1 to IB3, followed by all my EBs. So I have all my EB1s all the way through 8 over here. And on the bottom, I have all my TNs. I'll just see if I can. This is the one thing that doesn't move very well. Okay, so all my TNs are at the bottom. So what I decided to do is to. Where was I going to put my greens? Okay, so I decided that I would put my greens down the middle. And that's how I ended up moving all my pinks and reds and oh, yellows and oranges and purples to the side over here. And decided to use this whole row here for my. JGs 1 through 7 and they kind of break up all the pinks and whatever and now I was able to fill in in a kind of a logical way my LG1, LG2, LG3, my GG1, GG2, GG3 and GG4 and then I had to put I had a space here so I put my LG and my LG5 so all my LGs are really right over here and maybe if I move back out just a tiny bit Okay, that's as much as I can move up. So let me see if I can, there we go. I can see all of them now. So if you notice, all my greens are actually here. So at the very bottom, I have my GT1, GT2, GT3. Here I have my DG1, DG2, DG3, and DG4s. And like I said, all my CG1s to 4 are there. All my G, you know, J greens are in one line over here. And it makes it kind of easy to find everything I want because I know that if I'm looking for grays and blues and browns, I'm, you know, going in my neutral, sort of my kind of more neutral space here. And then my greens are all in the middle and all the other ones are on that side. So I don't know if that's going to have been helpful to anybody. I will um, try to get some pictures posted uh, probably to the blog because it's easier than spending a lot of time. Um, trying to get pictures otherwise and I will make sure the pictures are big and good enough resolution that with any luck you can um, see it all and um, there we go so anyway um, 
I hope this was helpful to somebody, and I um, will be back later. I've been tagged by Jam to answer a few questions, so I will try to do that later today. Bye-bye.